Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check. Everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Chanson Pascual, and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Contestant number one is JD, a transgender journalist from UP Diliman's College of Mass Communication who likes to prioritize gossips over academics. Contestant number two is Ram, a student from the Department of European Languages and likes the linguistic uniqueness of the Western tongues. Contestant number three is Tamara, a BA creative writing student who has always wanted to write for a living. And contestant number four is Mohan, a film major from UP Diliman who can also play the guitar. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Roy Daroy Morales, Professor of Law at the UP College of Law. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! <music> JD, what is the English name of the constellation Gemini? Gemini, uh, twins? Okay, check. Ram. In math, what is one-fourth of 64? Sixteen. Tamara, what is the local game of Dama called in the American English? Checkers. Okay, check. Mohan, which celebrity is the mother of Casey Concepcion? Sharon Coneta. Okay, check. JD, in math, what is one fifth of 70? One fifth of 70. 14. Ram, Hold'em, Stud, and Pusoy are variants of what card game? Correct answer is poker. Tamara, what is the English name of the constellation Capricornus? Ram. Malay. Mohan, in math, what is one third of 333? 111. K check. JD, in chess, what piece moves straight forward, backward, left, or right only? The rook. K check. Ram, which actor is the father of Richard Gutierrez? The correct answer is Eddie Gutierrez. Tamara, in math, what is one half of 72? Uh, 36. Okay, check. Mohan, how is the game of hopscotch called in Tagalog? Picot. One more time? Picot. Malay. Oh, it's the correct. And that's it for our first round, the K check para Mihan round. So, parang kinakabahan sila ng onte. Baka magwa-warm up pa lang, ano? Hmm. Ako, feeling ko doon naman tayo sa simula, oh, diba? Oo, oh, babawi naman, hmm. diba? Masarap bumawi. Oo oh, oh, naman. Hmm. Prof Neil, anong pakiramdam mo? Ang pakiramdam ko, merong liksi o may enthusiasm si Mohan Tamara JD. Pero parang napag-iiwanan doon sa liksi si Ram. So, gusto kong malaman ano yung konteksto, bakit parang hindi siya ganun ka-excited sa pagsagot doon sa unang round? Uh, sa akin naman po, uh, this is my first time po kasi na sumali sa ganitong ka-huge na competition. So that really made me super nervous. Pero uh, I'm trying to calm down na po. So yeah. Okay lang yun, Ram. Meron pang dalawang round. So pakita natin na kaya mong sabayan yung tatlo mong kasama. Okay. Correct. Oo. Ikaw ba kinakabahan ka? Ay, medyo hindi na naman. 
Pero sa tingin ko naman makakasabay si Ram. Correct. Oo. Very very positive ang vibes. Kita ko yung aura ni Ram. Talagang napaka-Ram. <laughs> Sige ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on... T-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan siya. At ang puntos ng ating mga contestants, JD, 20 points, Tamara, 20 points, Mohan, 20 points, at hahabol naman si Ram. Correct. Uh, so parang close fight talaga. Close ito. fight, mm -hmm. pero marami pang pwedeng mangyari. Yes. Uh, ba? Ikaw, kung ikaw ang tatanungin ng mga question, masasagot ko ba yung lahat? Hindi lahat. Mm -hmm. Kaya bilib ako sa kanila eh. Yes. Kasi talaga namang parang hindi sila nag-prepare, pero alam nilang sagot. Correct. Prof. Rowe, ikaw ba bilib sa mga contestants natin ngayon? Oh, I am actually awestruck. Kasi pag tinanong sa akin yung mga tinanong sa kanila, medyo magbabuzzer ng sampung beses bago ko maisip na may sagot pala. No? So, wow. Mm -hmm. Saludo po. Okay. May tanong ka ba sa mga contestants natin or sa sa mga contestants? Um, sinong gusto magpatanong sa akin? <laughs> Mukhang si JD handang-handa po patanong. Yes, pareho tayong kulay na suot. Alam ko, hindi po pareho ang kulay na suot namin because I was warned that I'm colorblind. But that's okay. That means I'm also blind to me. So, um, anong kulay ang suot? <laughs> ang color po ng suot ko ay blue. Blue? How? Parang with the Philippine flag po. Meaning peace. Peace? Ah, okay. Kasi para sa akin, ang blue ay sad. No. Diba? And according to theory, ang blue, pag hinaluan ng konting red, Ang dami nating nalalaman talaga dito sa K-Check. So we're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! <music> Which character in an Italian children's novel by Carlo Collodi that has been translated into over 200 languages is known for his nose that grows? Tamara? Pinocchio. Okay, check. What is the title of the Netflix series starring Claire Foy that dramatizes the story of Queen Elizabeth II and her reign? JD? The Crown. Okay, check. In December 2020, which single hit by BTS? Ram? Dynamite. Mali. Mohan? Life Goes On. K-Check. In recent events, who became the Prince of Wales last September 9? Mohan? Prince Andrew. Mali. JD? Prince William. K-Check. During the first century BC, the most famous Cleopatra became queen of what kingdom? Mohan. Egypt. K-check. In Japan, what seafood do you have to be licensed to prepare in order to prevent... Mohan. Puffer fish. Or fugu. K-check. Which Filipino gymnast brought home the first ever gold medal for the Philippines? Ram. Carlos Yulo. K-check. Which Northern Australian city, which is the capital of the Northern Territory, shares its name with the famous naturalist who wrote on the origins of species? Mohan. Darwin. K-check. What 1033-meter-high volcanic mountain stands out over the flat plains of Pampanga province? Mohan? Mount Pinatubo. Mali. JD? Mount Apo. Mali. Ang tamang sagot ay Mount Arayat. 
in what major religion is a rabbi a religious teacher? Tamara? Judaism. Kitchen. Which singer sang the title theme song in the James Bond film Skyfall? Mohan. Adele. Kitchen. Which explorer from Genoa, Italy sailed with the ships Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria in 1492? Mohan. Marco Polo. Malay. Christopher Ram. Columbus. K-Check. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan round. Mag points recap muna tayo. Mohan has 90 points, Tamara has 60 points, JD has 50 points, and Ram has 30 points. Sabi kasi hahabol yun si Ram. Oo, oh, di ba? Exciting yung round. Mm -hmm. At nagpakitang gilas ang ating mga kabataang okay. contestants. Speaking diba? of pakitang gilas, Prof. Marian, pakita ang gilas mga kami kung sino ang tatulungin mo sa round na ito. Ako naman ang magpapakitang gilas ngayon. Pero happy ako for the first time. Tatlo si Janty ko sa round oh, na ito. Congratulations. Si JD, Ram, and Tamara. Si Mohan hindi, no? Aww. <laughs> At naaliwa ko sa mga pang fashion natin, fashion show natin ng mga ano, mm -hmm. contestant. Well, question ko kay Tamara kasi I like her name. Right. Kung ako yung mag-change name, Tamara ang gusto ko. <laughs> Tamara Rocky. Tamara Rocky. Pwede. So, Tamara, creative writing. How do you create writing? <laughs> Uh, with lots of tears. <laughs> <laughs> so, saan ka nakakahugot? Anong hugot mo sa iyong writing? To be honest, a lot of things, basically, kung anong nasa paligid lang, and kunyari na lang hindi na alam yun. <laughs> anong kunwari hindi nila alam? Ano ah. lang, mga fake pulot dito sa mga binabasa, pulot sa mga pinapanood, and yung ano nga, sabi nga nila, yung plagiarism is the greatest <laughs> whatever. Okay, so mga nakikita mo sa paligid, mga pagmamarites mo, may nasulat ka din. So, keep on writing, keep on living, and I hope I, you do well in your you, chosen Mama. field. And you earn a living. Kasi yung gusto mo, eh, diba? <laughs> you earn a living. Thank you, Pama. Thank you, Prof. Marian, and thank you, Tamara. Ako may tanong ako kay Mohan, no? Leading ka ngayon. Anong sikreto para um umungos sa mga kalaban? Hindi ko rin po alam eh. <laughs> Pinaghandaan mo ba ito? Nagbasa ka ba? Hindi naman po. Siguro kasi mahilig din ako mag-take ng mga trivia quizzes. Kaya parang medyo nagagamit ko po yung experience ko doon dito. Okay, yeah. Mabuti yan, no? This time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Points recap muna tayo. Mohan, 90 points. Tamara, 60 points. JD, 50 points. And Ram, 30 points. Ganda ng round, no? Makakahabol pa ang marami. Oo naman. Sa Mahirap pang magsabi kung sino talaga ang mananalo ngayong araw na ito. Ako madaling magsabi sa ato. Sino talaga? Man? Meron kang ano? Uh, meron kang bubulong sa'yo? Mamaya, may bubulong. Ganda dyan. <laughs> so, we'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang ating kaalaman ng mga contestants sa round na ito, ang mga professors, ang ating panel of experts sa kanila magagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winners. Contestants, let's begin! Question number one, please. Math. Dahil mukha kayong mga nagpupusoy dos or tong its. If a card is drawn from a deck of 52 standard playing cards, what is the probability of getting a queen? Tamara? Four out of 52. Okay, so this is just kung ilan yung instances na you get a queen over total number of cards. So, 4 over 52 is correct. Okay, check. 
Thank you so much, Prof. Leo. Um, sa anong lungsod ginaganap ang taunang Mascara Festival? Mohan. Aklan. Bale. JD. Iluino. Bale. Kabisera ito ng probinsya ng Negros Occidental. Sikat siya sa bansag na City of Smiles. Ay nagkaroon ng Mascara Festival nung bumagsak ang sugar industry sa Negros Occidental noong taong 1980. So para itago ang kalungkutan, nagkaroon ng Mascara Festival. Ang tamang sagot ay Bacolod City. Bacolod City. Thank you. Prof. Rowie. Um... Tayo naman po ay nakakalibot-libot dito sa, sa UP Diliman. At meron po tayong isang structure dyan na mukhang, uh, mukhang flying saucer na ito po ay isang simbahan, isang um, um, place of worship na ang pangalan ay Church of the Holy Sacrifice. Sino ang nag-design nito? Ay, wala akong narinig, kaya wala sigurong tama. Ang, nag, ang nag-design nito ay isang kilalang arkitekto. Siya ay isang national artist. Siya din ang nag-design ng Cultural Center of the Philippines. At ang isa sa kanyang uh, mga kumbaga, uh, iconic works, lahat ng mga iconic works niya, mapapansin niyo walang mga yung tinatawag natin mga pundasyon. Like yung ating simbahan, pabilog, saan galing, saan tumatayo ito? O yung ating cultural center na nakikita natin na wala siyang uh, parang visible no, na mga poste. Yan po ay si Leandro Loxin, isa pong national artist for architecture. Thank you, Prof. Rowe. Prof. Maria, next question. So simply lang, buhay-buhay, biology, what does an entomologist study? Tamara? Insects. Okay, so ang entomology ay study of insects. Paycheck! Maraming nakakuha sa mga tanong mo ngayon, Prof. Maria. Prof. Neil? Nasagot ko rin mo. Sobrang dahil ako nakakasagot sa tanong ni Ma. Maria. So ito po yung tanong ko. What is the data collection technique that asks questions from a predefined group of respondents to gain information into various topics of interest with a self-administered questionnaire or through an interview. Ram? Snowball. Malo. Mohan? Survey questionnaire. So, tanyag ang data collection technique na ito, lalong-lalo na kung merong eleksyon. Ang tamang sagot ay survey. K-check. Thank you, Prof. Favorite yan ni Ma'am Chen. Survey. Prof. Rowe. Alright. Ako'y magtatanong tungkol sa mga struktura uli. No? Uh, meron tayong tinatawag na City of Lights at wala yan dito sa Pilipinas. Ito po ay sa uh, Bansang France. Alam mo, may narinig ako pala ng isang araw sa Bansang Paris. Pero hindi po, no? Yun lang po ang capital niya. At doon sa bansa ng France, sa lungsod ng Paris, ay merong isang struktura. No? Ano yung pangalan nitong strukturang ito na naging iconic na around the world? Ram? Eiffel Tower. Thank you, Prof. Rowe. Prof. Maria, next question, please. Medyo mahabang kwento. He said, the theory of everything okay, is a 2014 romantic drama film based on the life of a theoretical physicist who worked on gravitational singularity theorems. He was a bestseller author. His book, A Brief... Samara. Stephen Hawking? Okay, so he was also an iconic figure sitting on a wheelchair, speaking with this gadget, which made him sound robot-like. So Stephen Hawking is the correct answer. Okay, check! Thank you. Prof. Neil. 
ang galing pangalawang tamang sagot sa round eh. Kadalasan, masaya na ako pag makaisa sa mga tanong ni Ma Maria. Okay, so ito po yung tanong ko. Which social science discipline is the study of language and its structure? Ram? Linguistics. Yeah. Maraming branches ang disiplinang ito kasama na ang phonology, syntax, at semantics. Ang tamang sagot ay linguistics. Kaycheck. Buti na sagot ni Ram yun kasi galing dapat siya dyan. No? <laughs> Rob Rowey. <laughs> okay. Uh, wala akong kinalaman ito sa loob. Pero legal po ito. No? Ano po ang tawag natin sa ating national costume na pambabae na may tinatawag na sleeves na parang pangparoon o fly sleeves? Mohan. Barot saya. Tamara. Tamara. Pilipiniana. Lahat po yung binanggit ninyo ay Pilipiniana. Pero yes. mali po ang sagot ay hindi yung nagpangalan itong uh, female costume na ito. Uh, ang pangalan nitong costume na to na may paru-parong butterfly or butterfly sleeves ay uh, naging popular lalo na nung, uh, nung uh, may mga suot ng ina ng ating uh, current no, na Pangulo. Pina, this was made popular by Imelda Marcos and it's called uh, the name by the way the, of the female the costume national costume was also the name of a character in the series of novel Maria Clara. Thank you, Prof. Rowe. Prof. Maria. I thought. Medyo may counting challenge. What does a eukaryotic cell have? that a prokaryotic cell does not have. Mohan, a nucleus. So, we have all member-bound organelles are found, uh, some member-bound organelles are found in eukaryotic cells and they are not in prokaryotic cells. These are vacuoles, peroxisomes, lysosomes, mitochondria, chloroplast, nucleus. So, Si Prof. Marian, no? Prof. Neil. Nose bleeding yan. Hindi ko kaya yung sagutin yung tanong na yan. So, ito, yung po, ito po yung susunod na tanong. What is the name of the largest lake in Mindanao? So, trivia lang po. Galing po ako sa Mindanao. Ayon sa isang Jesuit historia ng pangalan Francisco Compes, ang Mindanao ay nangangulugang lake dwellers or inhabitants of the lake. One third ng lahat ng lawa sa Pilipinas ay makikita sa Mindanao. At pangalawa sa pinakamalaki ay makikita nga sa northern Mindanao, ang tamang sagot ay Lake Lanao. Pahabol na trivia sa Maranao na lingwahe, o Maranao na wika, ang lanaw ay nangangunghulog, ar, lanaw derived from the term ranaw, nangangunghulogan rin raw, lawa. So, Lake Ranao is basically Lake Squared. Okay. okay. Ang joke ko pa dyan, ha? Prof. Rowe, next question. Uh, it's complicated. Itong ating mga tanong dito na hindi ko masasagot. Kaya yung akin pong tatanungin ay it's simple. No? Kaya, any of you, or all of you, sabay sabay, I, I do not know about that, no? Ano po ang pangalan ng subject matter ng isang painting na nakasabit sa Louvre? Ito po, supposedly, arguably, the most uh, famous painting of a, of, a, of a woman. By the way, nakita ko na to sa, ano ha, nakita ko na to sa, sa museum. Contrary to, uh, uh, yes, contrary answer. lang po is, um, hindi really? pala siya malak. The Mona Lisa. That's right. The Mona Lisa, uh, as I was um, starting to um, expound, <laughs> eh, ganito lang pala kayo. Yeah, Akala ko, eh, napakalaki at ang haba-haba ng pila para makita ang Mona Lisa. Ang Mona Lisa po ay um, parang made of layers of different paintings of the same person. Hindi lang humakuha yung tamang, kaya na ako, kanina pa, alam pa, paano nangyayari. 
So that was made uh, different layers kasi may mga pano- mga panahon na yon kasi bawal magpakita ng ngipin or uh, bawal uh, na pagpakita ng sa whatever no? marami ng mga kabawalan na uh, umiiral ng mga panahon na yon so these were layers of paintings until they got that right uh, aspect na yun. hindi nga po natin alam kung ito talaga yung final na ginusto ng artist but that's what we are uh, ah, sino yung artist niya hindi yun ang tanong ang tanong ko ay sino yung taong yun tama si Mona Lisa at sino po yung artist may bonus question ba tayo wala po anyway uh, pwede i-guess yan ang ating mga ano na manunood thank you so much akala ko ng coach uh, pro, pro Huy no? and that's it for a K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Congratulations to Tamara, our KCheck Daily winner, with a final score of 135 points. We'll see Tamara again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to JD, Ram, and Mohan for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Rowe. This is Chanson Pasqual. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another KCheck! K-check.